Happy Friday, everyone. In this special episode filmed here at the Desert Oasis Room in Los Angeles, California, we're looking at one of my favorite house recipes from one of the oldest tiki temples here in LA. This is the Puka Punch. The Puka Punch is an original recipe created by legendary bartender and business owner Ray Buhin. He created it for his original bar that remains one of the headquarters for tiki aficionados, Tiki Tea. And to talk more about the history of the tea, here is tiki expert, Adrian Eustachio. Thanks, Dave. The Tiki Tea, established in 1961 by the one and only Ray Buin. You might know Ray as one of the original bartenders for Don the Beachcomber, but he also worked at the Luau, the Seven Seas, the China Trader, and many more Hollywood establishments. This year, they're gonna be celebrating their 60th anniversary. Come in and have a Ray's mistake, a Blood and Sand, an Ooga Booga, or any one of their other 90 plus incredible cocktails on their menu. 4427 Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. So what's in that Puka Punch recipe? It's gonna be one ounce fresh lime juice, three quarter ounce orange juice, three quarter ounce pineapple juice, three quarter ounce honey mix, three quarter ounce passion fruit syrup, one quarter ounce falernum, one ounce light rum, one ounce amber virgin islands rum, three quarter ounce dark Jamaican rum, three quarter ounce 151 proof Demerara rum, and one dash of Angostura bitters. All right, so let's get started. Let's do one ounce of lime juice, three quarter ounce orange juice, three quarter ounce pineapple juice, three quarter ounce passion fruit syrup. In this case, I'm using liquid alchemist, three quarter ounce honey mix, one quarter ounce falernum, one ounce light rum. In this case, I'm using cut water rum. There it is. One ounce amber Virgin Islands rum. I'm using just Bacardi Gold in this case. There it is. Three quarter ounce dark Jamaican rum. In this case, I'm using Lost Spirits dark Jamaican rum. Three quarter ounce 151 proof Demerara rum. In this case, we're using Lemon Heart. That's the real stuff there. And finally, a dash of Angostura bitters. All right, so now it's shaking time. As usual, we're gonna to toss a couple cubes in there as we shake. This uh, helps chill the drink as we shake it. It also just sounds cool. Nice. All right, put this into the tiki mug of your choice. Of course, in this case, we're using a tiki tea mug per the cocktail using crushed ice as well. It sort of helps bring out the aroma. Also, you can sit garnishes on there really well. Now, just get your strainer, strain that in. Oh yeah. So there it is, the Puka Punch. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> oh man, that's a drink that packs a lot of personality, as it should for a house original for one of the most iconic tiki temples in Los Angeles. That's all for this week. Thanks again to Adrian for letting me use his beautiful space, the Desert Oasis Room. And check out his channel at youtube.com slash Polynesian Pop, where this week he's going to make another Tiki Tea classic, The Blood and Sand. Until next time, cheers. Oh my god, look how freaking cool this bar is. <laughs> Adrian built this. This is so cool. Look at all this amazing stuff. Look at all the shelves. This is like the Disneyland of home tiki parts. This is unbelievable. I could do a whole episode on just how awesome it is. Thank you so much, Adrian. <laughs>